beats and bloggers. Stay with Gemma as she gets the latest from the UAE's biggest influencers. He's one of the first Arab YouTubers to reach 100 million views. And he's also a pioneer for gaming here in the Middle East. It's my pleasure to welcome in the studio, Ahmed Al-Nasheed. Welcome. Hi, Gemma. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Just getting you up. Yes. I heard this is your early evening it's early night for yeah. me <laughs> well no 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 it's late night late night for that's me. right late yeah. night late night uh, early night is what, what is that <laughs> well we're very pleased you got out of bed to join us today <laughs> now is it true your video gaming is actually what led you into evolving into an influencer yes uh, I started like around 10 years ago and when I started no one was doing anything around being a youtuber I was watching all the other guys from the US, from the UK, uh, from all around the world talking about video games. Uh, one of the first games that caught my eyes was Call of Duty and I was like, I want to do something, I want to do something. COD, uh, yeah, I know COD. the link. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, Call of Duty 4. Uh, w- and with that I wanted to do something, I wanted to do something different. So I grabbed like a new PC, uh, capture card, cameras and everything and I hooked them up and I started making videos. My first video got like around 50 views and I think my mom was the first one to... <laughs> Your biggest fan! <laughs> yeah, she, she created that. like 50 accounts and <laughs> she watched them all. But you ended up having your own TV show, so this has made you the face of gaming here. Yes, uh, well, after that, after maybe four years, uh, I got contacted by NBC and they wanted me to do like video games, talk about video games. Uh, they wanted me mostly to talk about entertainment as a whole, like TV shows, music, movies, but focus more on video games. And what ended up happening is that the whole show morphed to being all about video games because we were six hosts. Mm-hmm. So they split it up between the six of us and I got mostly like the video games. Perfect yeah. for you, like that's what I wanted. I, you... I know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I can handle it. I can handle it. Now you're just back from New York, what did you get up to there? Oh, for New York I traveled with PlayStation Middle East and um, we were there for Insomniac Games and Marvel Games, uh, Spider-Man. Uh, growing up I loved Spider-Man and, and, and to be in the city for a Spider-Man event, it, it was surreal. I bet, because I even saw that you got to fly a chopper over the city. Yes. And this was, what, to mimic the view that Spider-Man gets. Yes, because with Spider-Man, he swings around the city, yeah. right? Well, yeah, I want to see some swinging. I, I will never swing from a helicopter. <laughs> next trip to New York, ne- you'll trip. jump out. But, but the thing is, the, it wasn't the normal helicopter ride that uh, when, you, when you go to New York, to any city, you will have it. The doors were open. Oh my so, so we were literally dangling from the helicopter and my friend injured himself. So uh, we were me, Movlog and Ibrahim Abdurrahman, who is the like one of the biggest influencers in Saudi. Uh, he's so thin. <laughs> he was dangling from the helicopter and I think the wind started like moving his body and he just pulled a muscle. The wind injured him. The wind injured him. Oh, well, I don't think he's eligible to be Spider-Man. No, no, no. (laughs) He didn't make the cut. (laughs) The thing is, he skydived. He did all all these crazy stuff. And he got injured just because he put his foot outside of helicopter. Like, why? 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 (laughs) It's so weird. (laughs) <laughs> oh, what not to do when you're yeah. trying to be Spider-Man. So, so I ended up like for the rest of the trip uh, just carrying him around and we had to cut the whole trip short just because of this. Oh my goodness, what a good friend you yeah, are, man. No, I know. <laughs> now, I also spotted you are a massive fan of the TV show Friends. Oh, yeah. You even recreated that iconic fountain shot in Central Park. Yes. So have you ever tried to pitch the idea of a Friends-themed video game? Well... I would love to see that, but the the thing with it, uh, you, you have a lot of games like The Sims, Minecraft, and other games that you can create your own experience and your own game inside of this game. There's a new game from PlayStation, which is called The Dreams, mm-hmm. where you can make your dream a game inside the game. Oh so, God, so, so, this so sounds like could, Inception. It's like Inception. It's you like, don't know when I, you're leaving the game. <laughs> it's like, am I still in the game? Did I finish my own game or this is someone else's game? Which game is this game? Is that my mum banging on the bedroom jewel or is know. this the game? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so with that, I think you can make your own friend's game 
inside any of the other games. Okay, yeah. so all right, mm. if you're a huge, huge fan, yeah, you have the license. <laughs> Yeah, and you're also a voice actor, though. So yes. if you had to choose between Joey Chandler or Ross, who would you be? Uh, I'll go with Joey. With Joey. Oh, cause, yeah, cause, I can see that now. Because he's funny. He's funny. And uh, he has his own first lines and, and everything. I, I think with Joey, I'll have more fun. More I fun. think so. Yeah. I think you suit Joey. Thank you. Um, Just one quick question before we jump to a song. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about your previous work with Disney and Marvel? Uh, so it all started by me getting a message on my YouTube channel uh, when YouTube used to have like emails <laughs> like back in the days and someone from Disney like messaged me and then they contacted me to the uh, office here in the Middle East. They wanted me to fly and try to do voiceover with them. So my first work with them was for one of the games, but I didn't do any like lines. It was just me grunting and <laughs> howling and laughing. Really? And I swear That's to, easy. Yeah, I swear to God, like one of the lines, it, I, like in the script, it says laugh in Arabic. And I'm like, how do you laugh in Arabic? How do you laugh in Arabic? <laughs> Is there a different laugh? No one told me that. <laughs> <laughs> I never learned this at school. <laughs> yeah. What? How do you do it? And, and, and that was like one of the first uh, job to do with, with Disney and then that moved to Marvel then I did with EA I did also Star Wars so so I'm in, accredited in a couple of games uh, through like the gaming let's say industry but one of the projects that I really enjoyed was Star Wars Battlefront 2. Wow that is awesome yeah. and to think it all started with nailing that Arabic laugh. Yes <laughs> just with the Arabic laugh. <laughs> we are live on Instagram Dance FM UAE I'll be right back chatting with Ahmed Al Nasheed. Let's kick it with Fisher. Beats and bloggers. Stay with Gemma as she gets the latest from the UAE's biggest influencers. I'm back with Ahmed Al Nashi, the face of gaming here in the Middle East. And I actually need to wish you a very happy belated birthday oh. for August 22nd. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, this year was actually the first time you celebrated here in Dubai. Yes, it was different. It was different because usually I try, like, I'll be traveling around. I was supposed to be in Germany for. Uh, Gamescon, but I had to cancel because we had this trip for Spider-Man for New York mm -hmm. and it was weird celebrating here in Dubai because most of my friends are here. Usually I celebrate either with like the crew or or the, the, the people that traveled with me and this time I tra like we celebrated here and we celebrated in New York so it was like two different celebrations. Huge celebration yes. then yeah. and I imagine as you said all your friends are here so everybody yeah. wanted a piece of you. Yes <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun it was fun yeah. to, to celebrate here in Dubai I know the city and I love the city um, most of my friends know exactly what I want to do so, so it was a surprise, but it wasn't a surprise. <laughs> oh, nice. And one extra special surprise to happen since then yeah. is uh, the fact you've been featured in Esquire Middle East 100th yes. issue. How's that feel? It feels so good. Uh, I love Esquire. I, when, when I used to live in Los Angeles, I used to read it most of the time, go to all these events. And moving here to Dubai, I got featured before at the Influencer issue, and I was also on the cover with uh, with Casey. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. oh, uh, your cover, your cover model. All right. Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, after that, they contacted me and they wanted me to give them a list of uh, ten games that affected me, like growing up. So the reason why I wanted to be in the video game industry, the reason why I wanted to be an influencer or content creator. I, I like the word content creator more than influencer. Okay, yeah. noted. Yeah, because <laughs> I feel like we're creating content, right? Mm. And, and for me, I, I do a, a lot of stuff and I don't think I'm an influencer at, at the term of influencer because we are all influencers. Exactly, on mm. one level or yeah. other. Yeah, Because you content. influence your family, you influence your friends, you influence exactly. everyone. Yeah. yeah, but, but this way you're you're creating something. Yes. And it seems you're equally as talented whether you're holding a game controller or a paintbrush or even a wooden spoon. So yes. <laughs> is this something that you want to pursue further or do you purely cook and paint for pleasure? Uh, well, if you do something that you love as work or as it, it turns to it turns from being a job to a hobby. And for me, it, it all turned to something else. I didn't expect to 
work with like chefs. I, I worked with Chef Loka in uh, like uh, the IFC. I worked with uh, his restaurant is called The Artisan. Mm-hmm. Uh, I did with him tiramisu. Uh, my own term is tricky. <laughs> yeah. uh, did it pass the test? Yes, it did. <laughs> okay. it, 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 um, I noticed you didn't bring any samples today. <laughs> well, I just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> it's not breakfast menu, I see. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't do omelette, that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come around for dessert tonight. There we go. Uh, but with uh, Sean Connolly at the Dubai Opera, we did, uh, we, did, we did our own collaboration. It, it's called Anashit Fried Chicken, it's in the menu. And uh, w- when we did it, I didn't know it, that people would enjoy it and would like it. And it's so weird to see all my friends, everyone like that I know, go there and just like, yeah, can we have on the shit fried chicken? I'm, I, oh, wow. Yeah. So you're on the menu, I'm your the menu. dish. Yes, in Dubai Opera. Can you imagine that? That is so <laughs> cool. You know what? I want to go there now just, <laughs> just to try it. Now, another creative outlet for you is your fashion. Yes. Um, you've designed your own clothing line. Yeah. Can you tell us what it, what's the style? Who's influenced you? So uh, the brand called We The Movement, the Believe TM. And for, for me, I wanted to create something that f- I want to wear. And I know that people will enjoy. So, so Is anything on you right now from right, WTM? In just jewelry. Like, okay. Just, just, like, just the bling. Just the bling. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, but other than that, I'm, I'm wearing Adidas, Puma. And <laughs> it's a mixture of things today. Uh, I was like, I'm designing this. So it's very easy to fuse with your wardrobe yes. already. It's kind of st- Streetwear. It's a streetwear. Hip hop. It's it's hip hop streetwear. It's a uh, it, it it talks to people who grew up in this region. So so it's a mixture between English and Arabic. So you have something from like Alice in Wonderland. You have something from the cartoons in the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. You have something from video games like Street Fighter, like the word Hadouken in Arabic. I I, I mixed also uh, the drift culture in Saudi. So I have uh, a t-shirt that have like three guys drifting in a G-class. This is so cool. I love the fusion, pop culture with local culture. And I have hats. Each hat has a story. So, so uh, we we did four hats: Kuwaiti hat, uh, Emirati, and Bahraini, uh, and Saudi. Each of them with like handwritten underneath the the cap, uh, like the national anthem. That is so yeah. cool. So it's you all these little touches, the detail that actually I really respond to. You that, notice them. You notice Because otherwise it's just another garment, another hat. But what makes this special? I didn't want to make something that you can find everywhere. I mm. wanted to make something that will stand out. And I'm even, sure this is a first too. Yes. No, no one did something like with a written, like written lyrics underneath. Uh, it, it, it took... Like a little bit of like error and trial and for us to perfect the whole thing. But after that, I I was like, yeah, this is the thing that I wanted out. And one quick question before we wrap up. So obviously this (laughs) growing list of talents you have. Is it true you are planning to delve into the music industry and become (laughs) a rapper? Please (laughs) tell me more. (laughs) Uh, So uh, I'm friends with a lot of like performers, singers, rappers and all of that. Uh, I appeared in a couple of music videos with them and we were filming for an axe uh, uh, ad. <laughs> I was there just playing video games and my friend uh, Abdel Fattah Graini, who is uh, a Moroccan artist, uh, was performing with Pacha, uh, the Indian rapper. Uh, and they were just like singing, dancing and all of that. I was there and j- just like singing my own lines. Yeah. Uh, and, and they were like, what is that? Like, it's... Uh, my own song and they're like wait 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 record that they recorded that they brought oh, no, they're saying get in the they, studio we want that they want that wow they brought the the guys from sony mm. music and they were like yeah we're gonna sign you we're gonna sign you to do this and uh he's coming back to dubai to film uh, a music video and with that we're gonna like record it so what sort of time frame have we got on this i don't know i don't know i've, I've I was supposed to record that last month, but then we had to travel and do all of these things. But certainly in the short term. Oh, this is so exciting. Uh, I can't wait. And and the thing is, um, 
I told him if it doesn't make sense, I'm not gonna. I'm, maybe I'm gonna do the hook, and you can, guys. I will write the the song, and you can perform because you have Al Fatah, who's known worldwide. He did Jabra Fan. He did a lot of like songs that will known not only in the Middle East. No, everywhere. they want you yeah. and your voice, yes. your lyrics. My you life. own it. Yes. <laughs> uh, the the song that we're making is called Mabala, which means money. Because everything that you see is all about money. Because it, like, no matter what you do in life, you're just gonna either make money to spend money or try to get money to spend money. It's a circle. I'll keep my eyes peeled. It has been an awesome pleasure to have you in with us today, Ahmed. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.